You even admit it. I don't live in that neighborhood anymore. There's no real reason for you to carry a nine millimeter. Don't believe that. Why? In, in two years, I've had a gun pulled on me by my limo driver, by police, by everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I better be. I better be. You know what I'm saying? I've been attacked. You ain't read the papers about these skinheads trying to blow up black churches. Why? They see me as the enemy just like y'all do. You know what I'm saying? They can come to my house and sit outside my house just like anybody else can. A skinhead. And once my life is gone, it's gone. Can't nobody give it back to me. Not the judge, not the president, not the governor, not Calvin Butts, not Jesse Jackson. They can't do nothing but come to my funeral and talk pretty about how black people suffer. You understand? And as far as Jesse Jackson, my first acting job was at the Apollo Theater when Jesse Jackson was running for president in 1984. It hurts me for him to say anything negative about any rapper because we supported him. He should support us. You know what I'm saying? As far as his image, you know what I'm saying? What was he? What was he doing? You know, he should be the last person talking about gun violence when he sat right there while Martin Luther King caught one in the neck. You know what I'm saying? It, it, things ain't really changed that much. I swear to God, nothing I ever say is meant to be um, something where innocent people get hurt. Nothing I ever say is meant to be like a end all, let's go do it right now. Nothing. Everything I ever say, and if, if, if any, this is so we can set it clear, anything I ever say as it pertains to, um, to, to my peers and, and, and um, being strapped is only in self-defense. You know what I'm saying? Because my, right now where I'm at, the world is harsh. And I just don't got no beautiful stories. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just be getting them ready. Cause that's why I think I messed up. If somebody would've grabbed me, pulled me to the side and been like, look, Tupac, as soon as you step out here, they're gonna be at you. If somebody would've explained it to me, I wouldn't have took the same mistakes, but I made those mistakes. And that was my job to stop somebody else from making those same mistakes. To lay it out, to lay out the real map on the world and how it is. Everything I'm saying is a warning, is, 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 is a plea for help. If everybody is so goddamn worried about me, why ain't nobody came to help me? You know what I'm saying? I never wanted to be no star. This ain't my job. I don't care if everybody don't cheer for me. You know what I'm saying? If you're not cheering for me for what I'm doing, don't cheer for me. Don't cheer because you think I'm cute. You know what I'm saying? Screw that. Cheer for me for what I'm doing, for what I stand for. And when I go to jail, you should cheer louder. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm standing up for what I do. I'm not robbing nobody, not stealing from nobody. I never took nothing. Everything I do, I do to represent my people. I do because I think this is what they want me to do. Right, this is all I want to say. For all the people that doubt me, I had no record all my life. Okay? No record, no police record, until I made a record. As my video was debuting on MTV, I was behind bars getting beat up by the police department. I got a $10 million lawsuit. They, they said they were settled with me and everything. You know what I'm saying? But nobody cared about that. That one blew up all in the news. In they Oakland. didn't see me. They did not see me on TV with my eye busted, my head busted. There's pictures of those. In Oakland, you don't, you're Yes, about. in Oakland. You don't see them pictures. You see pictures of Tupac coming out of jail and cuffs. You don't see pictures of the police standing over me beating my brains in. You don't see that. But I see that. That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? So it's all real. And, and I, I feel like just like a woman that's raped, any woman that's raped would never, ever allow herself to be raped again. Am I correct? Any woman that's violated would never allow herself to be violated again. Same thing. You know there are going to be people who sit here and say, how can you say that when you're faced with that charge? That's in how I can say it. We got people in my own community that will get me. Why? Because I got it. Now this girl, who I can't say her name, but if I was to say her name, a thousand all over the world would go, I put this on everything I love, on everything I love. When I was in Atlanta, I was pulled over the gas station, some dudes from New York pulled over next to me and told me the girl's name. I said, they said, I know the girl that did it, they told me her name and where she's from, say she's scandalous. I can't go on TV talking about this girl, because that's what they want me to do. They want me to get on TV and talk about my black sister is a hoe, and she's a B-I-T-C-H, and she ain't she a money grubber. I ain't fit to say that. I don't have to do that to show that I'm innocent. You know what I'm saying? I'm not guilty. People should look me in my eyes. They should look me in my eyes. And anybody that thinks I've committed that rape should go get Brenda's Got a Baby and keep your head up and listen to him thoroughly. It was hard to imagine that it you would be, do that. It shouldn't be nothing for, it should not even be to me. I have no um, patience for anybody that doubts me. None. At all. It's too hard out here. You know what I'm saying? If my people don't stand up for me, who is? I understand these white folks looking at me like that because they don't know me. They didn't hear keep your head up. That ain't no fluke. You know, keep your head up ain't no goddamn uh, come up. I didn't do that for me to be smiling in my face to say, oh, he's cool. I did that from my heart. So that if they do try to put a rape charge on me, my sisters could say he ain't about that. Now, if my sisters can't say that, you won't hear another keep your head up out my mouth. You understand me? Because it's a struggle on young black males today. 
What would a Vietnam vet be like without a sergeant, without any backup, without any other soldiers, nobody but a Vietnam vet in Vietnam, when he came home, how would he be? And that's me. I had to go through all that street, war, everything, the same drugs that everybody else get turned out on. You know, where I would have been stopped short, I made it past. And here's where I am. But because I made it past, I missed some lessons. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the lessons that I miss when you talk to me. You can see where, where I haven't had a father when you talk to me. You know what I'm saying? You can see where I spent a lot of my time in the streets when you talk to me. Because the words that I say are not words that come from a mother's mouth or a father's mouth. It's words that come from a pimp's mouth or a prostitute or a hustler or a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? But to me, these were my role models.